The middle school years are a time of great change in the lives of our students. We've also seen a lot of change in what middle schoolers experience in their daily lives, both in and out of school. Today we'll go into a day in the life of a middle school student here in Huntley 158. I'm Jessica Lombard, Associate Superintendent. And I'm Scott Rose, Superintendent. Welcome to Huntley 158 today. Uh, we have Mr. Venetico with us, Principal of Model Middle School. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, so you're, you're new to Huntley 158, but not, not new to middle school. Um, and you're principal of Marlowe, one of the largest middle schools in the state of Illinois. Um, middle school is an interesting time in a student's life. Uh, one of the, um, the greatest amounts of change happens during that time period. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what's new in middle school and why it's uh, so interesting for students? Yeah, so I have, I have the unique perspective of I came from teaching in the high school. Um, for over 10 years and the past four I've been working in the middle school and middle school really is a unique time of a lot of change in kids lives and and it's it's a fun time but it's also a challenging time for for us and for the kids um, we're working with them on all the academic skills but this is also the time of a whole lot of biological changes going on in their bodies and figuring out who they are and what their identity is and who they are as people and what friendships mean to them and to middle schoolers friendships hold a lot of weight in their life um, and we have to sometimes navigate those waters so it's it's really a unique but it's a it's a fun time because when they leave middle school hopefully we've helped them kind of shape who they are and what their interests are when I started my career as a middle school teacher and I think things have probably changed drastically in what happens um, from the time they get off that bus to the time they leave at the end of the day. Can you walk us through what does a typical day for a middle school student look like both inside and outside the classroom? Yeah, so inside the classroom looks different than it did when I was in school. Uh, the whole desks in rows and the teacher standing up at the board lecturing, it's not like that anymore. If you walk through the halls of Marlowe or you walk in a classroom, I, I call it a little bit of controlled chaos. Um, there's kids working out in the team areas, there's kids sitting on the floor collaborating with each other and working together. Uh, very rarely will you ever see the teacher up in the front and the entire class sitting there with their notebooks attentively taking notes. There's, there's a lot of really a lot of good group collaboration and cooperation happening throughout the building and we give the kids a lot of independence so kids aren't always necessarily working in the classroom setting they're able to kind of branch out and do what they want uh, outside of school we're dealing with kids who are dealing with some adult expectations um, but they're kids some of the kids schedules and their workloads and what happens outside of school with their commitments that they have it's it's really a unique time um, for how busy they are and how they have to juggle so many things but we also forget that some of these kids still play with skateboards and matchbox cars and don't know how to write down things in their agenda and social media has really changed changed the rules of the game. Um, it's it's made what happens outside of school enter our school building, and it's navigating that with the kids and working on that social emotional piece, which is something that the teachers and our counselors and social workers spend a lot of time on every day. So, Mr. Venetica, what what might surprise a parents or a community member about what it's like to be a middle school middle school student, or what what's happening at Marlowe? Yeah. So, I think one of the things that's unique is that we're a really big school. At Marlowe there's over 1400 students but if you walk through the building or in any classroom you wouldn't know that. So with our team structure kids are in groups of a little bit over a hundred and they're with the same teachers for all of their academic classes with that same group of students. It really is even though it's a huge school people aren't just a number. The kids really are a family and they get to know each other, they get to know each other's interests, they know their teachers well at the end of the year. Um, it's really unique and we give the kids a lot of voice where they're, they're starting to become leaders now that they're in middle school and they're ready to branch out. Um, they have a lot of voice in our school and what we do. Uh, for example, we have 21 clubs at Marlowe this year, five of which are brand new. Perfect example, we had two boys who came in the first day of school and said, we're really interested in origami. They found a teacher, who never did origami a day in her life, but she was willing to kind of partner with them, so we now have an origami club where we have kids coming together after school and learning and teaching each other and collaborating. It's, it's, it's really, it's fascinating. Um, and the whole, the navigating the friendships piece, I think is something that would surprise people and how social media, I said it's changed the rules of the game, it really has. Because we have kids who sometimes, because of things that are happening on social media or happen outside of school, they come to us and they're not really ready to access the learning at that moment. 
So sometimes we have to do the timeout for them and we have to say, we're not at a good place right now. We need to go process this and talk through this and work through this and kind of fix this before you can be at a good place to learn. So it's, it's a challenging time, um, but the kids walk out and, and they're hugely successful because of it. So you just talked about when they walked out. You yeah. have three years with these students. Tell us what growth do you see from sixth grade to eighth grade? It's remarkable watching them come in that first day of sixth grade kind of orientation and when they walk across the stage and promote and get ready to go to high school, it's, it's a huge change. Um, not only their academic, that's obviously their growth and achievement is something mm -hmm. that we focus on as a school district, but we also really work with kids on executive functioning, how to be more organized and how to kind of organize their priorities and what needs to be done. We work with kids a lot on what it means to be a good digital citizen and the internet and how to navigate that. It's not the days where we used to just open up the World Book Encyclopedia to get our information. So now we're teaching kids how to represent yourself online, how to have an opinion, how to communicate with each other in this online world. And they walk out of our school being really good collaborators and communicators. They really learn how to work well together and get up and present problems to their peers and come together to put their heads and wrap around it. Well, Mr. Venetico, thanks very much for joining us and, and taking us on this tour inside um, what a middle schooler's experience is like. I know the six years that I spent as a middle school administrator were some of my favorite uh, in my career, and you're right about the relationships that they form and as they navigate those waters, um, their social world a lot of times is more uh, important to them than the education and it, it's how can we can help them balance that to um, to ensure that they remain on, the, on that path to finding some success and figuring out who they are uh, as, as people and as learners. Okay, so absolutely. thanks for thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for all you do. And thank you for joining us at Huntley 158 today where it's all students always. Join us next time where we'll dive into another aspect of how we serve our students.